Silver Hoy! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo, Silver, the Lone Ranger. When the western United States was first opened to settlers, thousands of pioneers traveled by wagon train into the new territory. The country was rough, the trails were poorly marked, and there was a constant danger of hostile Indians to be met. Many of the trains might never have reached their destination if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was only his knowledge of the country and the Indians, his strength, his great courage and daring, which made the winning of the West possible. Return with us now, those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading west to the hill country! Hi, old Silver! Away! <laughs> A score of covered wagons made up the train that had left the Middle West under the leadership of Asa Flinders. The greater part of their journey was accomplished when they headed into a rugged valley marked by huge, jagged boulders. Asa and his wife were seated side by side in the lead wagon. The man's features were as stubborn as the woman's were kindly and... Come on there! Come on there! Asa, you shouldn't be doing this. It ain't fair. Yeah. You know it just as well as I do. These folks know what you was planning, they'd never have come along. They'll do just like I tell them or walk the rest of the way. Come on now. Do they know yet? Nope. Well, don't you think you ought Kate, you keep out of my affairs. Business is for men. Females don't understand it. Hi, Mr. Flinders. Hi there. Uh, Clay Miggles calling you, Ada. Yeah, huh? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, easy there, boy. They screwed the Mr. Flinders, but Pa sent me ahead to ask if you ain't got off the right trail. Tell you, Pa, I know just what I'm doing, and I ain't needing none of his advice. Yeah, pa says they told him in the last town we went through he wasn't to go this way. They warned him about a particular. Said this was engine country. Who's running this wagon train, your Pa or me? Uh, it mean to say anything that make you mad, Mr. Whoa, Flinders. Whoa. Uh, hey, is it? Where in tongue get you headed, Pa? So you were buttoning in, too, huh, Jake? But this ain't the way we was to go. That's what Pa was just saying. Easy, you got to tell him. You got to. Hey, what's that? All right, blast it. I'll get this over with right now. Tell the folks we're pulling up. I got something to tell them. Pull up, Tim. Hey. Hi there, Lee. Get out of your wagon. Mr. Flinders got something to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, folks. Where's this trail going to take it, Asa? Did you get headed wrong? Yeah, Quiet down. Mean? Listen to what I got to say. Folks, we're heading into this valley, and that's just as far as we're going to go. Uh, what? No, what? What in blazes you mean, Asa? Hey, you must be local. This country here ain't good for nothing except Indians. They say Indians won't stand for white folks coming here. Well, just hold on. Hush up. Hold your horses. 
I reckon, first of all, I'd better remind you folks how come you was able to make this trip. Well, oh, shucks, A.J. Uh, we ain't forgot it was because you loaned us the cash for it. And as long as you're beholden to me, you're going to do what I say. But this here valley... Hush ain't... up! Now then, there's gold in there. Heaps of it. And I'm going to have it. Well, what do you mean, gold. you're going to have it? Every last one of you is going to work that valley for me. And we don't move a step further west till the valley's cleaned out. What's that? You heard me. You... Say, I don't get this. No? Well, who owns these here wagons? Well, well, we each of us bought what we needed for the trip with the cash you loaned us. Uh-huh. And what's to prevent my collecting what's owed me right now? Hey, sir, you're trying to say that if we don't fall in with your plans, you're taking back what you lent us? I ain't trying to say it. I am saying it. That ain't fair. Well, it's business. I'll bet you figured on this right from the first. Did you, Asa? Did you? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm against it. I don't care what you done, Asa, or what you got a right to do. We never come clear out here to dig gold. We come here to make homes, and that's just what we're going to do. Well, suit yourself. Huh? Either you stay here, dig what gold's to be had for me, or walk the rest of the way. Every wagon, every doggone bit of supplies and ammunition belongs to me. If you figure you can keep on without wagons, supplies, or ammunition, why, just start hiking. You know blame well we can't do that. <laughs> Thought maybe you couldn't. But if we stay here, we ain't only postponing making the homes we planned on. We're running the risk of colliding with redskins. Scared of them? Of course we're scared of them. Why shouldn't we be? We ain't hardly more than a handful, and the hills are just swarming with injuries. That's right. They're the same all along the trail. Nobody comes here. Well, now that you've all spoke your pieces, make up your minds. I made up mine already. I understand. If we says no, you're keeping everything for yourself? Yes, sir. So. Then, then I reckon we ain't got no choice. But, Asa, if we'd suspicion the kind of skin flint you turned out to be, we'd never come along. <laughs> and you mark my words, Asa Flinders, afore we're done here, you're going to be mighty sorry you ever got this notion. <laughs> Several days later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding through the same district. You're sure you got the facts right, Tonto? Uh huh. Me, sure. Doesn't seem possible that any party of men, even if they are emigrants unused to this territory, could be so foolish. They must have received some warning. Mm, them want gold. There's gold in the valley, but not enough to be worth risking their lives for it. Uh -huh. And gold seekers taking what ore they can find and moving on, not the kind of people the West needs. The West will be built up only by those willing to settle down in permanent homes and work the land. Mm, that's right. Nevertheless, although we don't sympathize with their motives, we still get to see they don't come to harm because of their rashness. What, what that? Red men, out of quick, out of sight. Uh, this way, Silver. This way, boy. Come up, scum. Pull up behind those rocks. Uh -uh. Come on, old fellow. Uh -huh. This good. Oh, oh Silver. Oh, scum. Oh. Oh. Quiet, boy. Quiet there. Oh. No noise, old fellow. We'll find our hands full. Any sight of them yet, Tonto? Ah, there them come. The war party, Kimosabe. Uh, them right for valley. This was bound to happen. Tonto know it. Quiet until they get by. At least 50 prime warriors, Kimosabe. Uh, They're cutting to the south. It likely means they'll enter the valley at the far end before the attack. That's what Tonto think. We'll warn the emigrants. Uh, Give the party a moment more, Tonto. Then we'll head down the draw and point for the near end of the valley. That best way. They're out of sight. Uh, then it doesn't matter whether they hear us or not. Let's go. Get them up, Strong. Hi, Silver. How are you? The immigrants whom old Asa had put to work had made camp where a spring gave them water and an overhanging cliff refuge from the unbearable heat of the sun. Inexperienced as they were, they had so far gathered little gold. But Asa would not listen to their pleas to move on. We see them now gathered in a group after their noontime meal and... Anybody tried to talk to Asa uh, lately? Talk to him. Jake, you might just well try reason with a mule. I reckon. Tim... How soon do you think we'll be able to go on? Where we planned on settling? Yes. Uh, I don't know, honey. 
Faye's a really figures in work in this whole valley. He'll be here for months. I, I don't think he's got any right to do this. Especially when he plans to keep all the gold for himself. It, it's like trying to make slaves out of it just because we borrowed money from him. That's just it. We don't have to work for him. We're doing it willingly or just the same as. We're doing it because we don't want to be left stranded. I think it's shameful. And so do I, honey. Oh, oh Mrs. Flinders, I, I didn't mean to say anything that it's... Oh, sure, child. You think just because I married the man, I can't see his fault? I ain't blind. He's just got a lot of good points to him. He's made me a mighty fine husband. But when it comes to making an extra dollar, well, he ain't choosy about how he does it. Can't you do anything with him, ma'am? Man sakes, has been trying, but he won't listen to me no more than the rest of you. Clay says... Huh? He was riding beyond the ridge this morning. He was almost sure he saw signs of redskin. I know. There was smoke yesterday. Uh-huh. And twice already I've seen engines spying on us. Doggone, I'd like to get clear out of here. We could if we... What's that? What, what is it's it? Engines. Pour into the valley. Dozens of them. Get guns, get the women folk and the young uns to cover. Dry up the wagon. Hi, look there. Somebody's coming from the other direction. Look at that horse. Say, that hombre's mad. It ain't him we gotta worry about. Make ready for them engines. We'll never be able to fight them all. We can only try. This is Asia's fault. Man, rein up, mister, and give us a hand. Oh, 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 oh. You ain't cahoots for them engines, are you? Listen to me. You haven't the strength to hold off those braves. We'll do our best, mister. You don't have to fight them. But your fire's you still alive. Grab brands. Start the grass burning. The wind will take it toward those Indians. You mean that we'll... I mean, if you do as I say, the fire will drive those braves right out of the valley. The masked man's right. Hurry, they're getting closer. Here, I'll give you a hand. Start the grass burning as far to each side as possible. Seizing burning branches from the fire, the frenzied emigrants hastily followed the masked man's instructions. The grass was dry, the breeze fairly strong. Before the Indians had approached close enough for their shots to take effect, they found themselves faced with a solid wall of blazing grass rushing forward to meet them. Their hostile intentions forgotten, they swung their ponies about and raced madly back the way they had come. It worked! Look at them, kid. Whipping them ponies like the devil was after them. Have a hold them killers for a while. The masked man? Where's the masked man that thought of this? Don't make a mistake. Those Indians aren't finished. They believe this valley belongs to them by right, and they'll be back. Well, we'll be ready for them next time. Boys, let's get the wagons in a circle, drag up rocks, and make a regular fort we can use. You can do still better than that. Yeah? How? Oh. By clearing out. Hmm, that's a good one. Why waste your time here where you aren't wanted? Where well, there isn't enough gold to be worth the risk. Where even experienced pioneers won't come. Why not go on with this good land for the taking? Land for farms, ranches, real homes. You think we wouldn't if we could? What prevents you? Mister, that's why we come to the West. To make homes, not to hunt for gold. We're only here because we have to stay. Have to? We borrowed the cash to get here, and now if we don't do like the fellow we borrowed from tells us to, he'll take our outfits away from us. Who's your leader? Who's responsible for this? Talking about me, stranger? I am, if you're to blame for this party remaining in the valley. You could say I'm to blame if you're a minder. Don't matter none to me how it's put. And the safety of these people who came west with you doesn't matter either? Oh, hold on, mister. Well? You're masked and likely an outlaw. You just done us a good turn, we're thanking you for it. But we didn't ask for your help, and I ain't asking for your advice. So just put that in your pipe and smoke it. That's your attitude, huh? I reckon we understand each other. Then listen to me. Go ahead, I'm listening. At present, the Indians in this district believe all of you equally guilty for this invasion of their hunting grounds. Maybe so. Don't interest me particularly. It will. Yeah, why? Because I'm making it my business to see they're informed of the truth. I shall be told that only you are to blame. They have justice enough to realize in that case, you are the one to be punished. <laughs> Stranger, I don't bluff worth a dern. Here, Silver. And we'll see what happens in the future. You call your horse Silver, mister? Yes. Uh, doggone, ain't that funny? I heard something about a horse called Silver. Can't seem to bring it to mind right off. Yep. <coughs> you may remember later. I... Hey, wait, I got it. Hello, Silver! Hold Away! on there! What was it you remembered about the horse, Clay? Why, that horse... Now, don't that beat all. Shucks, I forgot again. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger had helped the emigrants rout the Indians, he rejoined Tonto outside the valley. Who, oh, Silver? Who, oh, oh. Who? What? What them say? They don't want to stay here, Tonto. They're doing it only because they're forced to by the leader. Oh. I gave him something to think about, however. Mm, what that? I told them that he alone would be held to blame by the Indians for this invasion of their hunting grounds. When I told them that, I had something in mind. Uh-huh. You and I, Tonto, will call on our old friend, Chief Thundercloud. Oh, him not far away. We should reach his village in a couple days. Come on, Tonto. Oh, get him up, Scout. Let's go, Silver. Come on, boy. Several days went by. The emigrants, now fully aware of the hostility of the Indians, were on the alert. On more than one occasion, they found evidence that savages had been in the neighborhood, but they caught no sight of them. In the meantime, resentment caused by Asa Flinders' policy grew until the men reached a decision. One morning, instead of going about their day's work, they approached Asa in a body, then... Asa! Hi there, Asa! Why are you fellas going to work? That's what we're here to talk about. Ain't no use trying to argue with me again. This time, Asa, we ain't arguing. Just going to tell you what we've decided. Then you can please yourself about it. You know what this is. Go ahead. Tell him, Tim. Tell me what? Asa, you own the wagons, the grub, and all the supplies. Leastways, if you made us pay you back, you'd own them. Well? So we could hardly just drive away and leave you here, because that'd mean trouble. It would, and don't you forget it. So we're staying. You fellas come here just to tell me that? I know it before you did. I ain't finished yet. We're staying, but we ain't working. Hmm? You heard him right, Asa. And we're all agreed on it. You mean you're just going to camp here without doing no work? That's the size of it. And leave all the gold that's to be had in the valley? Gold? Blasted, Asa. There ain't gold enough here to have all this trouble over. There's plenty. But even if there was, it ain't doing us no good. Every ounce of dust we get, you keep you owe me that for being willing to loan you the cash I did. That don't hold true, because we've found out you only gave us the lend of it so you can make us do like you say. Yeah. All right, then. Don't work. Just sit around and do what you blame please. But recollect this. Yeah? You ain't touching a bit of grub we brought along. We'll hunt. We'll get our own. You won't hunt, because you ain't going to use my bullets. Any hunting you'll do will have to be done with snares or bows and arrows. We can't even use the bullets we got in our guns right now. You can't use a thing that was paid for with my money. Why, you... <laughs> What's that noise? It's Indians! Indians, where'd they come from? They left their horses behind. They sneaked up on us. Shoot them! Shoot them! You might shoot. You can't stop them. You shoot. You get killed. Many Indians here. You not got them chance. They're all around. Red skins everywhere. Wait! Wait! Injun... Not kill pale face. You not hurt Injun. Them only get pale face. Bring white man here. Monitor no car. Yeah. Hey, grab an acer. Let me go. Get your hands off me. Help me, boys. Why don't you shoot them? You said we couldn't use your bullets. Shoot them. Do not shoot. No car Help. Help me, boys. They're taking me away. Please help. There's help nothing me. we can do, Acer. They got us all covered. They just shoot us down. You stay here. They're taking Acer with them. They must have left their horses over behind them rocks. Why wasn't anybody on guard? We all come here to have it out with Acer, that's why. Then we'll have to trade. Them. I'll bet the mask man done this. Yeah? He said he was going to see that the Redskins didn't blame nobody but Asa. Well, you see what happened. They took him and left us alone. That's it, Tim. It must be. They couldn't have known about it otherwise. And that means the masked man's a friend of them, Injun. Yeah, we got to find him. Come on, Silver. Come on, fellow. Find him? Nothing. He's coming here right now. Well, I'll... 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 Asa, carried away by his Indian captors in spite of his screams and protests, found himself at last in a small camp. There he was bound securely, and from the scowls and the angry voices around him, he expected the worst. That night, although the Indians had as yet made no move to punish him, he found sleep impossible. They'll kill me. I know they will. I've heard plenty about what Indians do to fellas they got it in for. I, w- I wish I... Asa. What, what? Keep your voice down. The masked man. If you aren't careful, you'll wake these Indians. You you come to get me away? I'm not sure. Please, please, I'll pay you. I'll see that you don't lose by it. We're both white folks. You can't leave me here. Quiet, I said. But... We're both whites. 
But that doesn't mean the Redskins aren't entitled to punish those who injure them. We ain't done nothing to them. I never You did. brought whites into the hunting grounds. You took over the valley they considered their own. They ain't got no legal title to it. It's been their land by agreement for years. Uh, please, stranger. You've not only taken their territory, you've forced your own friends to help you against their will. More than that, you've aroused the Indians again. Other whites will suffer for what you've done. Then you're just going to let them kill me? I didn't say that. But you said... Would you clear out of the valley, go on to the district you were originally headed for if you were freed? Just get me loose, stranger, and I'll do anything. I can't take you with me. You've got no. to. No. The Indians are sleeping all around us. I could get through without waking them, but you couldn't. Then... Wait. I had a talk with your party back in the valley. Yeah? They don't feel very friendly towards you, Asa. You tricked them. They realize the position you're in now is your own fault. Well, what do you mean? Just this. I could return to the valley, guide the men here, and free you. But not unless they were convinced you'd treat them fairly. Huh? They wouldn't want to risk their lives if they thought you'd still insist upon staying in the valley after you'd been rescued. I won't. Honest, I won't. I'll, I'll clear out first thing. These people want homes. You'd have to do more than clear out. You'd have to promise not to demand repayment of the loans you made every time you wish to force them to obey you. I'll promise. You'll promise also that they'll be given a reasonable length of time after they're settled and wish to clear their debt? I will. I will. Just save me from the engines. Good. Uh, what's that? I told you I'd talk to your party. They won't trust your word. But they drew up this agreement, and if you sign it, you can't back out later. I'm tied. You can move your hand. Here. Here's a pencil. I'll hold the paper. This, this ain't right. You'd rather be left a prisoner? No, no. I'll sign. That's better. Now well, then, go ahead. <laughs> I'll take this back to you. Look at my right. Did Did he wake up? No. But one of them may at any moment. I'll get back to the valley. But your friends will be here in the morning. Don't worry. <laughs> In the morning, the Indians made no move to leave. Asa had been afraid that they would break camp and ride further into the hills before his friends could arrive. His belief was short-lived, however, for the chief of the red men approached him and... You heap bad pale face. Oh, wait. You take them land belong red men. You drive way game. Uh, listen, I never meant to. I didn't say it was going to make you so mad. Thunder cloud heap angry. Uh, just let me go. We'll clear out. I give you my word. Pale face speak with crooked tongue. Huh? White man make promise. Him not keep promise. I will. Honest, I will. Me not believe you. Thunder cloud punish you. No, please. Kalu Tokama. What are they going to do? Make them stay back. I told you I'd promise anything. Please don't let them touch me. You break red man's law, you die. No, I don't want to die. Please, please. Manite. Lokar. And the first thing you want to do is get back to the valley and start on your way. Back in the valley again, Asa lost no time making ready to leave. The wagons were packed, the horses hitched up. Finally, the train was once more ready to resume its journey. Paul wants to know if you're set to start, Mr. Flinders. You folks ready? We're ready. Then it'll be just a second now. Come on, Azer, climb up here. I've been in this awful place as long as I have a mind, sir. <clears throat> Hand me the reins, honey. Here you are. Hey, thank you. Get along there. Get up. Get along with you. Good to be on our way again. We're leaving heaps of gold behind. Would you rather you left your scalp behind? Mm, I've just been thinking. Huh? I've been so busy, I ain't had much time to give it a thought of four. 
But now, the more I think of it, the funnier it strikes me. What's that, Ethan? Why, this morning, them Injuns had me. Uh -huh. Then the masked man rode up with the boys, and they all come tearing at them redskins, banging away with their guns, and the redskins lit out. For land sakes, why wouldn't they? Yeah, but the fellas was firing at them almost point blank. They shot off enough bullets to knock over the most of a herd of buffalo. But I'll be blasted if I can recollect a single one of them Injuns being even so much as scratched. <laughs> I reckon their aim wasn't so good shooting when they was excited like that. Or maybe, huh? or maybe their aim was too good. Maybe they never even wanted to drill them <laughs> engines. There's things about what's happened that are beginning to strike me as mighty suspicious. But he always was a suspicious man, Asa. Hmm. If what I suspicion was correct, there's some fellas in this party I'd have some things to say to. But what do you suspicion? I'm wondering if maybe them Injuns wasn't in cahoots with the masked man, and the fellas know it all the time. Now he's a... Well, I'll be... look there. Huh? Over there, just by them cottonwoods. The masked man. I see him. What about it? But there's a redskin with him. And that redskin's one of them that took me prisoner. <laughs> it was. It was a put-up job. Even so, you can't do nothing about it. Why not? You signed that paper, and there's just nothing you can do. I ought to... Oh, there ain't but one thing you ought to do. Huh? What's that? Keep driving. Keep your mouth shut and keep folks from knowing you're a born fool. That blasted <laughs> masked man? Get along there! Get along! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.